at this moment in Picasso's career, he is really out to do nothing less than reinvent the history of Western painting in his own aggressively confrontational, stylistically disjunctive, provocative terms. We know he put a lot of time into planning this work. We can just see from the size of it that it is of tremendous ambition. And I think he was intent on making people stand back and say, I've never seen a painting like this before. Les Demoiselles d'Avignon started as a narrative scene set in a brothel of two men, a sailor and a medical student, surrounded by five prostitutes. And in time, it became a very iconic image of five female nudes. This is a picture with a particular erotic charge that certainly has to do with the putative brothel scenario. One of the things I always notice when I look at this work is the way that each one of those figures locks eyes with us. The title of this painting is extremely confusing because first we speak about Demoiselle when they are prostitutes, and we say Avignon, which is a little town in the south of France. But you have to refer to the Cayo Avignon in Barcelona, which was the street of the brothers and bars. In the origin mismo del título de la obra y de cierta iconografía de la obra, está en las visitas que Picasso hizo a Burdeles en Barcelona. En cierta manera, digamos, es toda una iconografía realizada en Francia, pero que toma como referencia, digamos, momentos de su juventud relacionada con el momento iniciático de la entrada de, de un joven como Picasso en los burdeles. Ce que Picasso va réussir à faire entre, on va dire, ses 14 ans et 1907, c'est en effet une révolution, un changement de point de vue sur la représentation. Les Demoiselles d'Avignon sont à l'origine de ce qui va devenir le cubisme. Cette manière de représenter le monde, plusieurs points de vue, un seul plan. Du cubisme, puisqu'il est amené à recomposer intellectuellement la complexité d'un objet dont on sait bien qu'il ne peut pas, en tant que structure tridimensionnelle, se retrouver de manière exacte sur une surface plane. Et ça, c'est une vraie révolution. 